So perhaps my relationship isn't destined to work out. It just seems like fights are so intense. People who are not supposed to be involved are getting involved. Discussions are so hard to have. Usually, that train of thought comes to your mind during difficult times in a relationship. It's in these moments that you feel like there are unforeseen forces in the universe that are conspiring to prevent you from having that long and perfect family life and perfect relationship um, that you have always envisioned. This person is not communicating properly with you. They don't care for you. They don't love you the way you love them. And it's not going anywhere. And then you start envisioning your life without them. And how you could probably pick up the broken pieces and move on. Because this is where those train of thoughts of thinking that uh, there's some unforeseen forces pulling a relationship apart. As a science and math person, I have always had a difficult time in understanding the concept of faith. Is my life circumstances, my success in, in relationships, my success with my in my marriage, my success in my business. Is this a predetermined thing? Like, what is faith? So I have had some thoughts and actually done some real life experiments so that I could come up with a formula for faith. So my idea of faith is kind of like a physics formula. The relationship between faith and the physics formula is faith is directly proportional to work and work is equal to force by distance so faith is basically force by distance okay let me explain this a little better so for me in my understanding of accomplishing anything in passing the exam or caring for a baby is to accept responsibility you can't expect to pass an exam if you thought that if your colleague or your friend or your classmate studies a lot for this exam that that will cause you to pass the exam well here's another example would you turn a blind eye while your baby crawls precariously close to the edge of a pool like you won't do that first of all you would have to say listen no one else is responsible for looking at this baby but me and I will not turn a blind eye or get busy on the side or turn this way or get distracted easily while my baby crawled precariously close to the pool. Your first step is always to take responsibility. So in other words, it is safe to say that the fate of your education depends on you studying and the fate of your child's physical safety depends on how attentive and careful and responsible you are. Like these two examples that I gave are pretty straightforward. Like all these obvious things, we clearly had to take responsibility. We had to make sure and yell at the kid to move from the pool or literally go pick up the kid. Put her you know, in her room where she can access the pool or put up specific safety things around the house that she can't walk out and get to the pool so easily. Now, we are pretty certain that these two examples, we know the specific actions that you must take. It's pretty obvious of the specific actions that you must take to come out on top, to not feel like they are unforeseen forces, not having you write this exam, pass this exam, or unforeseen forces pushing your baby in the pool like it doesn't exist. So, why is it hard to realize? When two honest people started off a relationship and loved each other and wanted to make it work with each other, how on earth did it end up to be that unforeseen forces or things beyond your control are affecting the health and longevity of your relationship? Work equals force by distance. The health of your relationship, the longevity of your relationship, the fate of your relationship your ability to control the fate of your relationship is directly proportional to the work that you put in. Now, most people think that the work in your relationship is like get it, waking up in the morning, cooking roti for him, um, packing his bag to go to work. I, I don't know. I really don't know 
what normal people do. So for me, most of the times, this work we're talking about is more work on yourself. The way you handle arguments, your mindset, the way you think of certain situations, or simple things that navigate your mindset for the everyday quality of life. Work equals force by distance. And if you don't put any work on yourself and your relationship, then the other girl is in charge. Then the neighbor is in charge. Then your mother-in-law is in charge. Everybody else is in charge of the health, longevity, the functioning of your relationship besides you. And the first step of working on your relationship is taking responsibility. Taking responsibility is understanding that you have the ability to navigate, to control the outcome of your relationship, to steer it in the right direction. But that's if you really want a healthy relationship. Or do you want to do what you see in those gossip movies and, or, or in those soap operas? Do you want to be dramatic, irrational, um, cuss out each other, storm out of a room, but ultimately make things worse in those challenging and pivotal relationship moments? So don't forget work is equal to force by distance. The force you're carrying is the value in your relationship. Like, if you're encouraging your spouse more, not complaining, looking at the good qualities of your spouse, being grateful, finding out and doing the little things that they like more. That's things that you can do for your spouse. However, there's a bunch of things that you can do for yourself to help your relationship. Choose better couple role models around you. Don't involve every friend in your relationship issues. Have more clarity in the future of your relationship. What value are you bringing to your spouse? Are you his biggest encourager? Are you his biggest support? And then what does he do for you? He must be completing your life. Make sure that the value that he brings to you is in your mind first and foremost so that you never have the opportunity to question oh am i better off out of this relationship you're like no i can do this i i love this i love what he gives to me and just being all around conscious of cause and effect all these things i will definitely be doing separate videos about the distance is how long you do it for if it's a permanent change if you do it for one day and then get fed up and the greater your w value becomes then this indicates how much influence you have over the positive direction of your relationship if your w value stays low then you are at the whim of anything that would affect your relationship your emotions another person cheating quarrels and that's when you start feeling that there are unforeseen forces conspiring to keep you from having a successful relationship and life sorry about this getting so logical about it but if you're like me and you pride yourself on being very logical then you have a hard time trusting an invisible force called fate so i am here to tell you that fate isn't this whimsical predetermined factors by god and the universe that is holding us to be sad and unsuccessful i am here to tell you that it's very logical it's very scientific and it could very well be calculated all these unforeseen forces are actually conspiring for us to live our best lives if we just take responsibility for the things that are dear to us which is the quality of our life being first and foremost the quality of our marriage the quality of our relationships, the quality of our love and sex lives. In fact, there are not much things out of our control. Even though we don't learn it like a math formula, like this in school, we do learn the math formula. And it's just for up to us to apply it to our own life. 
So the question now is, are you willing to take responsibility for your relationship and not to turn a blind eye on it anymore and assume that you don't have the ultimate control and the ultimate control is up to some unforeseen force of fate? Are you willing to take responsibility? If you enjoyed this content, check out my book, now available on Amazon, or stay tuned for more videos.